In this video, let's explore Git Attributes files. We'll discover how to control Git's behavior using Git Attributes, ensuring consistency and customization across your projects. So, what exactly is a .git attributes file? It's a text file named .git attributes that defines attributes for file paths in your repository. What's its purpose? Primarily, it's used to control how Git handles different file types, ensure consistent behavior across different environments, and customize Git's behavior for specific files. Let's break down the basic syntax of a .git attributes file. It uses a pattern-based configuration. Each line in the .git attributes file follows this format, pattern followed by attribute 1, attribute 2, and so on. For example, star.txt followed by the text attribute, star.jpg followed by the binary attribute, star.png followed by the binary attribute, makefile followed by text eol equals lf, which means end of line equals line feed. Star.bat followed by text eol equals crlf, which means end of line equals carriage return line feed. Any line starting with a hash is considered a comment. The .git attributes file is typically placed in the root directory of your repository. Let's explore some common git attributes. Firstly, consider text handling. The text attribute marks files as text, enabling line ending normalization. For example, star.txt text. The binary attribute marks files as binary, disabling line ending conversion. For example, star.png binary. The EOL attribute sets a specific line ending style, which could be LF or CRLF. For example, star.sh text EOL equals LF. Next up, let's consider diff and merge behavior. The diff attribute specifies how Git generates diffs for files. For example, star.md diff equals markdown. The merge attribute defines the merge strategy for specific files. For example, star.db merge equals binary. And finally, the minus diff attribute, which disables diff generation for binary files. For example, star.pdf minus diff. One of the most common use cases for .git attributes is to manage line endings across different operating systems. Here's how you can do it. First, set the default behavior to automatically normalize line endings using the statement, star text equals auto. Next, explicitly declare text files with specific line endings, such as star.txt, text eol equals lf, star.md, text eol equals lf, star.ss, text eol equals lf, star.js, text eol equals lf. Files specific to Windows should use crlf, such as star.bat, text eol equals crlf, star.cmd, text eol equals crlf. Binary files should not be modified. Examples include star.png binary, star.jpg binary, and star.pdf binary. This ensures consistent line endings, regardless of the developer's operating system, preventing unnecessary diff changes. Let's explore how to improve diff output. You can configure Git to use specialized diff algorithms for specific file types. star.json diff equals json. star.md diff equals markdown. star.png diff equals exif. To set up custom diff drivers, define them in your git config. For example, in .git slash config or your global config, add the following. diff json text convert equals python minus mjson dot tool. diff markdown word regex equals open square bracket a hyphen z uppercase a hyphen z zero hyphen nine underscore close square bracket plus or open caret open square bracket colon space close square bracket. diff exif, Text convert equals exif tool. The export ignore attribute prevents specific files and directories from being included when creating archives with the command git archive. Here's an example. Files and directories to exclude from archives. .git attributes export ignore 
.gitignore export ignore, .github export ignore, test slash export ignore, doc slash export ignore, star test JS export ignore, readme.md export ignore. This approach creates cleaner release archives without development only files. It's useful when distributing your code as a library or plugin, and it keeps documentation and test files in the repository but out of releases. Let's delve into some advanced Git attributes. First, consider filter attributes. Use filters to modify content when files are checked in or out. For example, star.js filter equals indent. Secrets.json filter equals git hyphen crypt. Remember that this requires configuring filter drivers in git config. Next, let's explore merge strategies. Control how git handles merges for specific files. For example, changelog.md merge equals union. star.db merge equals binary. star.properties merge equals properties. This helps prevent merge conflicts in files with specific formats. Here are some recommendations for the effective use of .git attributes files. First, commit early. Add .git attributes at the beginning of your project. Normalize line endings. Always use star text equals auto as a baseline. Document your choices. Add comments explaining non-obvious attributes. Be specific. Use precise patterns to target the right files. Test your settings. Verify attributes work as expected across platforms. And finally, update when needed. Revise as your project evolves and file types change. A well-configured a Git attributes file improves collaboration and prevents common Git issues. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.